Hey, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I want to do a reading for the new moon on October 16th, which will be in Libra. So for this reading, I'm going to ask our familiars what energy they want brought into the household for this new moon or what they think we should focus on for this new moon and how they are offering us assistance during this new moon. So new moons are the perfect time to set an intention and kind of decide what we want to focus on for the next 30 or so days. During a new moon, I always really like to listen to my intuition to tell me what to focus on, as well as consider what zodiac sign the moon is in. During this time, I always try and think about what I want to manifest over the next 30 days. This new moon is in Libra, and Libra is all about balance and beauty. So we can focus on what we can do to bring more balance into our life and what we can do to bring more beauty into our life or to be able to recognize and see the beauty that is already in our life. Libra can also be about relationships. They, these can be romantic relationships or kind of business relationships and networking and also friendships and family. Libra is also a good time to find forgiveness, forgiveness for others or forgiveness for yourself and to be fair when making decisions and find kind of a way that everyone can work together and just a way everyone benefits, a really fair solution. So I'm now going to ask our familiars and use the dog and cat communication tarot deck to see what our familiars think we should what our intention should be set around this new moon and how they can offer us assistance. Just before I shuffle the cards, I want to invite you to join our Facebook group, Living With Familiars, where you can directly ask me questions, post about your animals and your familiars, share stories, and get free readings. Also, please subscribe to this channel. That way I feel I can directly access your energy easier to do these readings. Of course, if you are not subscribed, these readings may also work for you. I just feel that I can better tune into your energy for those that are subscribed. But let's just get into it. As I said, I am going to be using the Dog and Cat Communication Tarot Deck which is made specifically for communicating with animals. If you're interested in any of the things that I mentioned, all the links will be below in the description part. But now just take some deep breaths while I shuffle the cards. I'm going to make three different piles of cards, group one, two, and three. So take some deep breaths, relax, get in a meditative state, and pick a number from one to three, whichever you feel drawn to, and that will be your message. What does your familiar want you to focus on and set your intentions around this new moon? What energy does your familiar want to see? And how can your familiar offer you assistance? So since this card popped out, I'm going to use it as a card that will influence all three groups since I wasn't thinking about a specific group. Okay, group one, group two, and group three. Group one, group two, Group three, group one, group two, group three. Group one, your cards are the world and the king of paws. And the card that popped out in the beginning is the emperor. Group one, the card that popped out for all three groups was the Emperor. The Emperor is all about structure and stability. So I'm going to say that the energy that our familiars want us to bring in at this new moon is structure and stability. So routines and schedule and just knowing what to expect and having boundaries and rules to follow. The Emperor is also about just 
owning the fact that you are in control and you have the power of your own life. No one can tell you how to think, how to feel, how to act. It's your choice what you decide to do or what you decide to feel or how you decide to react to things going on in your life. The Emperor is all about just standing in your own power and keeping your boundaries firm. So this is the type of energy that your familiar wants to see come into the household over the next 30 days. You may feel that you already kind of have this energy or you already feel this way, but I think that it this type of energy is always something that we can improve on and we might not have that balance, which the Libra balance comes into. We might not have that kind of power or have that structure and stability and rules and just owning our power in every single area of our life. There's no way we can have it balanced. So what area, maybe money, career, relationship, health, what area do you feel you need to have more of this in? What area of your life? And that's the area that you can try to feel more confident and powerful in. So group one, with your two cards, the world and the king of paws, your familiar is telling you to communicate with loved ones or someone in your life how you really feel. Maybe to improve your communication skills. So this doesn't mean just speaking, it also means listening. So really understanding, empathizing, paying attention to what someone else has to say, taking their perspective and thinking about it and removing all judgment from it, removing anything that you are putting on through your own experiences and just really considering someone else's perspective and then communicating how you feel and what you think back in a very respectful way. So both listening and communicating, whichever you feel you need to work a little bit more on, just being an all round better communicator. This is an area that your pet thinks that maybe you should focus on and they want to help you. They're here to assist you by helping you celebrate a recent ending that you have recently had. You've recently accomplished something or a new a phase or a life stage or something has ended. You're in a transition period right now and it, for this transition period your familiar really wants you to be able to express yourself and communicate yourself and listen to others as I mentioned and they want to help you celebrate this whatever you're leaving behind and this new phase and new stage of your life that you are stepping into. They want to help you really be joyful and happy and loving where you are. This isn't a serious thing where you need to really work on communicating and it's stressful and it's hard. They're saying that this is a very happy, joyful thing to do and they want you to approach this communication and bettering your communication skills, your listening skills, your speaking skills, whichever aspect of communication that you feel you could work a little bit on. They want you to be joyful and playful with it and really happy and celebrate all the little accomplishments that you've made. Maybe you don't realize that something that you have done that your pet is, your familiar is really proud of you for doing and they are here to assist you recognizing that you are doing a really good job and you need to celebrate whatever you have accomplished. So those are some things to consider when setting your intentions for this new moon. Let me know in the comments what you decide to set your intention for and I'll see you in the next video. Be sure to check up with the next full moon video and I'll see you then. Bye. Group two, your cards are the Hanged Man and the Five of Bones. And the card that popped out in the beginning was the Emperor. Group two, your cards were the Five of Bones and the Hanged Man. The card that popped out for all three groups was the Emperor. The Emperor is all about structure and stability. So I'm going to say that the energy that our familiars want us to bring in at this new moon 
is structure and stability. So routines and schedule and just knowing what to expect and having boundaries and rules to follow. The Emperor is also about just owning the fact that you are in control and you have the power of your own life. No one can tell you how to think, how to feel, how to act. It's your choice what you decide to do or what you decide to feel or how you decide to react to things going on in your life. The Emperor is all about just standing in your own power and keeping your boundaries firm. So this is the type of energy that your familiar wants to see come into the household over the next 30 days. You may feel that you already kind of have this energy or you already feel this way, but I think that it this type of energy is always something that we can improve on and we might not have that balance, which the Libra balance comes into. We might not have that kind of power or have that structure and stability and rules and just owning our power in every single area of our life. There's no way we can have it balanced. So what area, maybe money, career, relationship, health, what area do you feel you need to have more of this in? What area of your life? And that's the area that you can try to feel more confident and powerful in. Group two, your cards were the Five of Bones and the Hanged Man. And these cards are telling me that your familiar wants you to be able to just surrender, to let go, to not push or chase your desires or your dreams or your intention that you set. Just trust and have faith, be able to relax, kind of sit back and not take any action and just surrender and let go and let the universe take action and do the work because you have done the work already and your familiar is wanting to help you and assist you with this intention by helping you realize all that you have, everything that you can be grateful for and just making you really happy and present in the moment, in the current moment and everything that you have right now, instead of looking at what you want or what you hope is coming or your what you are manifesting and your intentions, what you want to happen and thinking about the future or worrying about the future, instead to look at what you have right now in the present and how lucky you are and all the love and all the material objects and all the good things that you do already have. Your familiar is also saying that they are very grateful for all the things that you have provided for them. They feel that they have their own space, they have their own bed, they have their own food, their own bowls, their own toys, and they're really grateful for all that and they want to share that with you. And they feel that by sharing that with you, you will be able to just surrender and let loose and let your desires come to you instead of you always chasing them. So I hope that was helpful for setting your new moon intention and use the assistance that your familiar is offering which is to just be grateful to have gratitude and you can tune into their energy of the gratitude that they have for what you've given them to feel gratitude in your own life for what you have so i'll see you in the next video be sure to come back and check for the full moon video in a few weeks bye Group three, your cards are the Queen of Hearts and the Four of Hearts. And the card that popped out in the beginning was the Emperor. Group three, the cards that you have are the Four of Hearts and the Queen of Hearts. The card that popped out for all three groups was the Emperor. The Emperor is all about structure and stability. So I'm going to say that the energy that our familiars want us to bring in at this new moon is structure and stability. So routines and schedule and just knowing what to expect and having boundaries and rules to follow. The Emperor is also about just owning the fact that you are in control and you have the power of your own life. No one can tell you how to think, how to feel, how to act. It's your choice what you decide 
to do or what you decide to feel or how you decide to react to things going on in your life. The Emperor is all about just standing in your own power and keeping your boundaries firm. So this is the type of energy that your familiar wants to see come into the household over the next 30 days. You may feel that you already kind of have this energy or you already feel this way, but I think that it this type of energy is always something that we can improve on and we might not have that balance, which the Libra balance comes into. We might not have that kind of power or have that structure and stability and rules and just owning our power in every single area of our life. There's no way we can have it balanced. So what area maybe money, career, relationship, health, what area do you feel you need to have more of this in? What area of your life? And that's the area that you can try to feel more confident and powerful in. Group three, the cards that you have are the Four of Hearts and the Queen of Hearts. And these cards are your familiar telling you to just be mindful and present in the moment. So this is a really meditation card so your familiar kind of wants you to set the intention around being more mindful and maybe meditating just realizing your body and where you are and how your body feels in the moment the emotions that you are feeling in the moment and just really being in the moment and noticing your feet on the ground when you walk and the wind that touches your skin or the rain that falls down and just feel it on your skin or feel the sunlight when you're outside. Just really be aware of what is around you. Maybe just really smelling the candles or the incense in your home or feeling your familiar's fur when you stroke them and just really noticing how soft it is and just being really aware of what is surrounding you at this present time and your familiar can really assist you because they're saying that they with the queen of hearts they're saying that when you feel happiness and joy they also feel happiness and joy when you feel sorrow or frustration or anger they also feel that sorrow frustration anger whatever emotion you are feeling currently at the time, your familiar feels it as well because they are really in tune with your energy and they're kind of like a mirror or a feedback loop. So if you see that your familiar seems anxious or sad or joyful, then you know that the energy that you were giving off is sad, anxious, or joyful. And your familiar saying you can really look at me and think how I'm feeling and I'll let you know how you're feeling because sometimes it's hard to really know what's going on within ourselves and when we're not used to taking some time throughout the day to do that or when we're first starting to do it, it we don't really know what we're looking for or what we're feeling and your familiar saying I'm here to show you just look at me and you'll get some insight into your own emotions I'm a mirror of you and you're a mirror of me we're such a team we're so connected and I can help you tune in and turn inward and notice what's going on inside of you and what's going on around you in the present moment without thinking about what you have to do what you want to do what you should be doing just being right here right now so I hope that helps you group three with setting an intention for the new moon in Libra and be sure to come back to see the reading for the next full moon and I'll see you then thanks for watching bye